What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jumaya's World and right now we're going to be talking about the best moves to make with snowflakes. A lot of you guys that are just getting into Ultimate Team, especially some of the newcomers that are just getting Madden right now in the holiday season, you're probably like, yo, why do they have all these different types of currencies? Why is it so complex? Well, I'm going to go ahead and simplify that really quickly and then we're going to jump into you know, the best moves obviously with the snowflakes. So the number one thing that you need to know at this moment is that the cred is just something that they're trying to make you utilize in another mode. You know, the yard and all that stuff. We, we don't care about that. Points is obviously the money that you have for packs. Training is something that's become a staple over the last couple of years with actually upgrading your players. And then the new currency is snowflakes. Obviously, we all know what muck coins are. So that explains everything. It's very, very simple uh, when you know what it is because now it's not really drawing your attention to it. So let's just forget about that. The next thing is, you know, everybody's like, yo, Jima, you haven't said anything about the snowflakes. Is getting presents the best possible thing to do? All right. Before we even jump into, you know, getting presents, because I already know I'm not going to get nothing right. This is what I want you guys to understand. Peyton Manning's card is so damn trash that nobody's really buying it. So one of the things that I was doing yesterday, the reason I got so many snowflakes, uh, also every day you log in, you get 2,500 for just logging in. So keep logging in every day at least once, even if you're not going to play the game and you'll get that free 2,500 snowflakes. So look, when you go ahead and you do these zero chill, uh, zero chill, uh, these hero, what is it, these, are these masters, um, wh whatever these idiots are, uh, to get uh, zero chill Peyton Manning, I, I guess, they could, you know, th these guys, you'll say they're masters for part one, you know, he and uh, Calvin Johnson, right? So when you go, you get back the three 93 overall NCAT zero chill players, those guys quick sell for snowflakes. So what I was doing yesterday, while Peyton Manning was a decent price, I made, you know, made his card, got the, um, you know, the NCATs, quick sold them for snowflakes. Did it once. When I went back to do it again, his price had already plummeted to almost 300K. Obviously, with the prices of what goes into it, it doesn't make any sense. Because right now, the prices are a little bit, you know, 134, whatever. But look, just put it like this. When you spend almost, what is that? That's going to be 260 and then 390. That's going to be 400K. You're going to lose 100K per time doing it right now because Peyton Manning's card, everybody realizes how bad he is. He's really, really trash. But this was one of the methods I was using in order to go ahead and get some snowflakes. For those of you guys that were asking, Yo, Jima, you got 120,000 snowflakes, what happened? That's usually what I do. And regardless of the currency, I do that every year in month. And a lot of you guys that do it with me, early on when the card is going for more in the master set, and you can get the individual pieces a little bit more reasonably, it works out. Right now, because Peyton Manning is so trash, nobody's really feeling it. Also, Calvin Johnson is only good if you use the strategy card, all right? Because the strategy card puts him up to a 97 speed on any theme team, all right? To get the strategy card, you got to play the zero chill chal uh, challenges. Now, let's go ahead, since you guys all understand the background of what's happening, and you probably learned a lot about what's happening, let's go take a look at what's going on with the snowflakes. So obviously, for me to get a 93 overall zero chill hero, right, that would be one of the three that goes into the set, all right? Why would we do that? It depends on what your situation is. Because if you get another 93 NCAT, I believe you, no, not an NCAT, it might be a, a NAT that can go into a set uh, by using um, the ornaments. It might make sense to do that because you will get a come up because you would already have two of the 93s. Another thing you can do, if they do it the same way they've done it previously, if they keep the 93s as whatever they are, and in part two, the player masters are better, like way better than Peyton Manning and Calvin Johnson free safety, you will already be a step ahead of the game. Which is why I don't like to use the snowflakes early because you don't never know what's gonna happen. And to prevent having to spend a lot more money, you just be patient. Because right now, a large present is 72,000, right? So we can keep on accumulating because remember, you have until, I would say, I, would, I don't think, are they removing this from the store? Do they, have, they don't have any dates though. But the presents open up on Christmas day. So you, I guess you would say you have until Christmas Eve in order to do it. Um, you don't need to rush to get them right now. Like there's no need to rush. But if you're, you know, you're antsy about it, yo, Jima, I'm gonna do it anyway. Feel free to do it. One of the things I want to point out though is the random present. Now I've seen people on a yearly basis get really, really lucky uh, doing this, right? And just having a field day, pulling some really, really good stuff. And I've seen people spend all of their stuff, like everything in their bank account, on their mutt coins and everything, and get nada. What would I prefer? To accumulate as many snowflakes as possible and go with the large presents. Because here, you have the option of so many different extra large and all, the, all other kind of weird presents, as opposed to this, where you're just praying that you're going to get lucky. 
And I don't want you guys to feel like it's an easy thing to do. Um, it probably isn't. Um, you know, trying to you know trying to get something good out of these random presents because EA is not trying to give away anything you know too crazy. Now, here goes where it gets crazy. The 78 plus, you should obviously not use snowflakes for it. Why? Because EA Sports gave us a training route. So if you have decent stuff that you can use training for, um, the zero chill players, this situation might be really good. For instance, if you have cards left over that you got from like, you know, your weekend league rewards or, you know, you redeem that EA, um, they got that EA play pack that they get if you're an EA play customer or whatever, and you get like, you know, a decent amount of cards that you don't want to keep, but you want to sell for training. I have a lot of my binder, my binder right now. So I could actually go ahead and do that as well. And it could turn into a coin making method because if we get enough zero chill players, you know, we can repeat the process. It's just the higher over, overall ones that sell, uh, that quick sell for, um, Snowflakes, like the 93 overalls. I'm not sure where it starts, but I know the 93 overalls quick sell uh, for Snowflakes. All right, so this is this is the way I would go. I would not use Snowflakes for the 78 plus. All right, just so you you know keep that in order with what we're doing. Now the 85 plus, that can be reasonable depending on how many pieces you need to complete a set in order to sell it. Because what I might do, guys, I might get that Lane Johnson. But remember, I can still use ornaments to get that Lane Johnson. I don't have to go snowflakes, all right? So realistically, I would say no to this one for 128. Um, the 22.5, you could probably do like five, five of them, see what's good. This one, I would use training. I would not flirt with the random presence unless you are very, very lucky. I would I would wait it out a little bit more, accumulate as much possible uh, snowflake that I can, you know, snowflakes I can get, and try to get at least two of these large presents, and maybe we get one extra large. If you're going to spend money though, you can go crazy with this and the promo because it's about 119,000 snowflakes or something for the 93s and like 250, it's a weird number for like the masters. So there's ways to do it to where you can accumulate a lot of it, but it'll cost you a lot. And it would, you know, it's gonna require you spending money, which I don't promote. If I have to buy a bundle, it's because you guys are either forcing me to get it or it's a player that I like. I don't really like partaking in the bundle action. All right, now, the next part I'm going to let you know about before you guys go is, um, where was it? The zero chill, two categories, Mutmus trees, right? So look, this is an end cap. This right here, um, let me see, every release, exchange 12 ornaments to get your choice of a 193 over zero chill. So this is auctionable, but it's 12 ornaments, okay? This one is two, this is repeatable, 78 plus. How many do you need? One ornament. Large present, okay, seven ornaments. Medium, random present, two. This is another way to get really, really lucky if you wanted to use those ornaments. Now, you can get ornaments through playing challenges, house rules, um, and just logging in daily. Uh, pretty much, you get uh, you get ways to do it because what they do is they have a secret thing every day where you can actually um, go into the missions tab and then zero chill, and then you go to, where is it, ugly sweater, decorate the mutmus tree. Uh, I found it yesterday. Oh, the hunt for ornaments. Okay, find this ornament before before another one is hidden on December 15th. All right, so December 15th, they'll do this. This is another way to get it. Um, we got the first one. We just had to play the challenge. It was a very easy one. You find the ornament, and then you put it into a set, blah, blah, blah. You get things that you can quick sell. Uh, I believe you can quick sell them for snowflakes, but why, why guess when I have a bunch of them? So let's go to collectibles. Um, I don't... Dude, what, what, what? Okay, so where's the ornaments? All right, so here they go right here. Here goes one. Yeah, so they quick sell for snowflakes. If you wanted to figure out a way to go ahead and accumulate those, um, it comes in different various ways, you know, various uh, whatever, but they're 9,000 snowflakes. So that's another thing you can do with the ornaments. For me, I'm probably going to use it and try to get, um, we're going to probably try to get a little bit more uh, players later on because we still have time. This is only part one uh, of the uh, promo, so you can still wait it out, guys. You don't have to go really crazy with it. But that's my opinion. Um, I would randomly try to accumulate as many snowflakes as possible and go after those presents, the large ones. Because it's either you go big or you go home, dude. I, I wouldn't play around. I'll go here and I would gamble. I know it's 72,000, but why gamble small? You know, if you're going to do it, that's what I'm going to do. Once I get like 144K uh, snowflakes, I'm going to go ahead and grab two of these and just see what's going on with it. If anything else changes before that, I'll let you guys know. But I think the presents may help us to get a possibly decent card uh, on Christmas Day. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you're having an unbelievable day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.